There's one thing that actually keeps social media influencers, you know, be it on YouTube or Instagram or wherever from, you know, making it. And there's actually a pretty simple step, but you know, lots of people just don't even know about that. So in this video, I'm going to talk about that and actually show you how Peter McKinnon used exactly these kinds of principles to actually stand out from the crowd and, you know, blow up within a couple of months. So cue the intro. Welcome back my friends. Uh, my name is Dominic. If you're new here, you know, usually we talk about social media, we talk about Instagram, why people, you know, blow up, how you can actually blow up yourself, and other things all around social media marketing. So if you like to have more or if you like these kinds of videos, just you know hit that subscribe button. And by the way, give me a like. Anyway, today we talk about why lots of especially newer or you know smaller Instagrammers just you know dabble around like like a fish in a pond and just don't you know, get big. So they kind of look all alike. You know, it's actually kind of a little bit boring. I mean, just look at that. You know, basically lots of things, they just look alike. A lot, you know? But, you know, that that wouldn't necessarily be the problem, to be honest, because, you know, just the content alone, you know, can pretty much look alike, in my opinion, especially when you're, you know, in the same kind of niche, you know, for example. But still, why is it that you see lots of awesomely looking profiles with the highest quality content possible and they just and they just don't do well, right? They just don't make it. Why is it that they kind of swim low under the radar and even if they get noticed, you know, it just it just doesn't click with them. The answer, my friends, is something called branding. You know, more specifically, the way they uh, position themselves, right? So which is just as bland is everyone else in, in that sense. You know, this the certain spark it's just missing. And you know, I kinda get it. You know, how would they know? You know, usually when someone starts an Instagram account or, you know, a YouTube channel or whatever, they just go with the flow and they can see what happens. And that's what probably over ninety percent of other, you know, accounts do. But here's the thing though, my friends. If you just take a little bit, you know, I mean really a little bit of your time to kinda assess, you know, certain parameters, you know, try to position yourself in accordance with those, you know, parameters, you'll set yourself apart from the rest immediately, right? So what's what's the point that'll set yourself apart, right? There's a couple, but let me get into that, my friends. Usually when you want to, you know, start a social media page, whatever it may be, you know, professionally, especially Instagram, of course, because you know, that's what we talk about pretty much the most, but these things are, you know, pretty much usable on YouTube, pretty much anywhere, because, you know, branding is branding, you know, it's basically not that different. Anyway, you should be sure who your audience is, right? You should be sure, like, what do they want? To give you a quick overview, look at your competitors. You know, what do you have in common with them? You know, and most importantly, what's the big difference between you and them? You know, maybe there's just something that's totally different and, you know, this can basically be pretty much anything, you know, ranging from weird personality quirks to, you know, having a certain kind of look, I don't know, or, you know, <laughs> just a unique way to deliver your value to your audience. You know, maybe you sound drunk in all of your videos. I don't know. Then you need to be sure that you are positioned in a clear way, right? Which means your whole page needs to revolve around this this overarching theme. You know, you need to have a voice and stand behind you know certain values that make your page unique and interesting. You know, people need to know what they could expect from you. People need to know. Okay. This guy likes coffee, for example, a lot, for example. You know, just, and uh, let me just give you another quick example. For example, why do you think Peter McKinnon still blew up when you know everyone said it was already too late to start YouTube? Basically, it's, it's all too late. You can't start YouTube anymore. You know, the Casey Neistat is the only one and there's the other ones and you're way too late. Basically, just go back to your job. Right, he didn't do that, right? He was kind of a rebel in some sort of sense and he just did his own things, uh, but just the right way. So what did he do? He just had his positioning down to the point. I'm sure he didn't think about this beforehand because you know some people just have it in them you know, that, for some reason. Some people don't, probably you, probably me. So we have to think about that beforehand, right? So what he had, what a clear vision, a clear tone and voice and most importantly, he didn't dare to try new things, right? Things that actually made him stand out as a person, you know? Back in you know those days, Casey Neistat was 
pretty much the trendsetter number one. And there was a gazillion people out there that just started more or less copying him. You know, just everything basically, his editing style, you know, the sunglasses, you know, even the way he talks, just everything, you know, running around with the boosted board. And it's just everything basically that he did. But then, all of a sudden, little Peter came along and he, he didn't care a lot about those, you know, already established, established roles, right? And that's the thing about art, you know, there are no real rules. Of course, there's some patterns, of course, that work particularly well. For example, you know, Casey's formula does work well and, you know, it works well for everyone, but it's just his formula, right? And that's Casey. You're not going to be the next big social media star by just copying his style and just, you know, doing that. Everything to the exact point he does, right? Why? Just think about it. Would you, like, what if I just started have, writing songs just like the Beatles? It's not gonna, it's not gonna work, right? And this is basically exactly what made Peter McKinnon blow up and, you know, get established that fast, actually, because he blew up, I don't know, a million in a year or something like that. So he took already established the already established niche of you know of being a filmmaking vlogger and you know he just made it the peter way right including all of his weird little personality takes and cart tricks and honking people outside and you know while if if you compare peter to casey down to its core to, to their core you know both of them are more or less just filmmakers that vlog, right, on paper. They're two filmmakers and they vlog, and that's pretty much it. But both of them have a very different things that set them apart. Anyway, my friends, this has been it for this week, actually for today, because probably tomorrow we'll do another one. And anyway, for those of you who don't know, by the way, we actually have a chapter in my upcoming program called Unemployed that specifically focuses on just that, you know, dissecting and understanding your audience, you know, figuring out your own personality traits that make people, you know, actually be interested in you and that make you actually stand out from this big pool of people. So make sure you click that link down below to get our special, you know, launch bonuses, which by the way, are going to be really great. You know, officially I'm not allowed to talk about them. There's someone sitting in the back watching me. I'm not even joking, but you know, let's just say it. I just say to some of you guys, you know, some of you guys are going to be able to work with us with our agency totally for free. But, you know, more on that on Sunday. Anyway, my name is Dominic. Um, if you like this video, just give me a like. Someone's calling me right now. Anyway, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.